calling on Emmanuel Macron to end what they say is France's policy of indulgence towards Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Several NGOs accused the Egyptian president of committing systematic human rights abuses against political opponents. Torture is exercised on a large scale and in a systemic way, especially by the National Security Agency. This could be considered a crime against humanity. Speaking to France 24, the former army general rejected the accusations and defended his country's human rights record. We have imprisoned no political activists. Everything has been done according to the law, within its jurisdiction. Our friends can come and confirm this themselves. They can meet the general prosecutor to know these judicial procedures. Egypt is seen by many Western countries as a vital partner to combat extremist groups in the Middle East. But al-Sisi's government has repeatedly been accused of using the fight against terrorism as an excuse to crack down on the opposition. Since the 2013 ousting of Mohamed Morsi, an estimated 60,000 people have been arrested on political grounds in Egypt, according to Human Rights Watch. Al-Sisi's visit represents a delicate balancing act for Emmanuel Macron. The French president said in a statement last week he was particularly attentive to the human rights situation in Egypt, yet the country remains a major buyer of French military equipment, with arms orders worth over 5 billion euros since 2015.